I'm Lyndall Osborne. I'm an artist who lives in Edmonton, Alberta, in Canada. And I've been a practicing professional artist for most of my life. Installation art is very current in um, contemporary art galleries around the world. In fact, probably about 80 to 90 percent of the work that is shown worldwide falls into this category. It doesn't have the same limitations as showing a painting on a wall or a drawing on a wall or a freestanding sculpture. It tends to combine a number of media together. Sometimes painting and sculpture can be together, but it can also include things that um, once fell in the realm of performance art, video, it can have dance, it can have performative aspects to it. And the thing that I think makes it much more unusual than the work on the wall or the work on the floor is that it allows the artist to set up something in a very specific site. And that site becomes a component of the work, the width of the walls, the height of the walls. So sometimes the artist is able to work on the floor, from the ceiling, for, and allow space uh, for the viewer to interact with the piece. And sometimes the viewer is able to walk into the piece and almost have a dialogue with what happens. Very, in very much the same way as I do in, in a real life situation. The name of this piece is Archipelago and I created it in 2008. It's taken me a whole year to complete this piece and it builds on some of my interests in looking at genetically modified seeds. In this piece, I really wanted to look in closely at the cell, the cell being the fundamental structure of the plant. And each one of these 16 shapes represents a cell. And the cell is made up of um, a number of different components which make reference to things in science. For example, around the cell form, I've created um, some, a sort of a DNA chain. And inside that DNA chain, I've placed various things. In some cases, they look like dried seeds. In other cases, they look like the sort of scientific apparatus that might be used in a laboratory in examining um, DNA material or in making experimentation in um, genetically modified seeds. I've also incorporated some floating shapes, which are the pathogens which contaminate or are injected into the cell. At the center of the piece, I've placed a meandering river. And for that, I wanted to use the North Saskatchewan River, which runs alongside my house here in Edmonton. It meanders along. It seems to be without end in the piece. And on top of that river, I've placed uh, metaphorically some small gardens, which represent the biodiversity of nature. They're like little snapshots of different places that we might see that are relatively unaltered. Um, I'm concerned, number one, about the fact that GMO altered food is not labelled. So we don't know what the health implications are because they've never been studied. I'm also concerned about the lack of biodiversity because when the uh, biotech industry has worked 
on these cells, it shrinks the number of things available and a hundred varieties of corn turn into one variety of corn. The other thing I'm very concerned about is the fact that this is not just something that's happening in North America, its impact because of the corporate biotech industry is worldwide. I hope that when the public view this piece, they have a chance to walk around it and explore it rather like someone exploring a riverbank, peering in, bending down, looking closely at some of the components and trying to think for themselves what this might mean. I know sometimes it's hard for the public to quite understand what a work might be about, but I think I've given enough clues particularly with the scientific apparatus and the suggestion of the DNA around the cells for people to sort of get some understanding that this is weird science. I hope that people will start to think about the implications of the patenting of seeds, the GMO alteration of our food products without labeling, and to think about how our environment is being altered so radically and so quickly without really taking into account the fact that these new organisms will have completely different relationships with the environment. I hope that people will see that our planet is threatened by this and that uh, they can become more involved and more knowledgeable by asking uh, what this means in their lives. I want to thank you for your participation in viewing this work. I hope that you've been able to get something out of it. I've had a great time making it and I've really enjoyed the experience, not only in creating and producing the piece, but in sharing it with you. Thank you very much. Oh, here comes the tractor. <laughs> <laughs>